Imagine a place where charming windmills dot the skyline. Tulips paint the fields in vibrant colors. And canals wind through historic cities packed with stories. Welcome to the Netherlands. Now, I know, planning that dream trip might seem a bit overwhelming. But what if I told you that you don't have to do it alone? Together, we will go through some fascinating fun facts about the Netherlands and then explore the top places in this amazing country. Ready to make this dream trip a reality? Hit that subscribe button, press the bell icon and drop a comment below on where you would love to go first in this magical country. Did you know that the Netherlands grows over 4 billion tulips each year? That's nearly enough for every person on earth to have one. But there's so much more to this small yet extraordinary country than just tulips. From the spinning windmills of yesteryear to modern art that pushes boundaries, the Netherlands is packed with captivating stories just waiting to be told. Today, we're diving into the most incredible destinations and little-known facts about the Netherlands. But before we start our journey, think about where you'd go if you could step into this fairy tale land. With that in mind, let's take a closer look at what makes this country so unforgettable. Alright, let's start with a few fun facts that set the Netherlands apart. First off, it's the cycling capital of the world, with more bikes than people. Around 22 million bikes for a population of 17 million. And speaking of its landscape, about a third of the country lies below sea level. Thanks to advanced flood defenses, they've managed to keep the water at bay, making the Netherlands one of the world's flattest nations. But while this might sound scary, it's actually a symbol of Dutch ingenuity. In fact, they even built an entire city. Almere, on land reclaimed from the sea. Let's kick off our adventure in the capital, Amsterdam. A UNESCO World Heritage Site, its historic canal ring stretches over 100 kilometers and connects 1,500 bridges. A boat ride along these canals is a journey through Amsterdam's rich history, where every building, bridge, and boat has its own story. Did you know that Amsterdam has more canals than Venice? And it's also home to the world's only floating flower market, the Blomenmarkt where you can pick up colorful blooms for the perfect Dutch souvenir. Amsterdam has more museums per square meter than any other city in the world, including the Rijksmuseum, home to Dutch masterpieces like Rembrandt's Night Watch, and the Van Gogh Museum, which houses the largest collection of his paintings. Just a short trip from Amsterdam lies the charming village of Zantschans. A picturesque village that feels like stepping back in time. This charming area is famous for its well-preserved historic windmills, which were once used for various industrial purposes like grinding spices, sawing wood, and making oil. The village itself is essentially an open-air museum with traditional Dutch houses, barns, and workshops showcasing the country's rich cultural heritage. And if you're a fan of cheese, a visit to the cheese farm here is a must. You can taste delicious Dutch cheeses and even learn the art of cheesemaking. Our next stop is the stunning Kukanoff Gardens, the largest flower garden in the world, spanning over 79 acres. This spectacular garden is a floral paradise with about 7 million flower bulbs planted each year, including tulips, hyacinths, daffodils, and more. Kukanoff is only open for a few weeks each spring, typically from late March to mid-May, making it a seasonal spectacle that attracts over 1.5 million visitors annually from all over the world. Each year, the gardens feature a different theme, influencing the design and layout of the flower displays. While tulips are the main attraction, Kukanoff also boasts a wide variety of other flowers, including roses, lilies, and orchids making it a must-see destination if you're in the Netherlands in springtime. Next, let's visit the enchanting village of Kinderdijk often called City of Windmills, a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1997. 
Kinderdijk is renowned for its 19 well-preserved windmills built in the 18th century to manage water levels and prevent flooding. This area showcases the innovative Dutch water management system, featuring canals, dikes, and pumping stations that have been crucial in controlling water levels for centuries. Many of the windmills are still operational and open to visitors, offering a fascinating glimpse into their workings. Kinderdijk is a popular destination for photographers, offering picturesque views of the windmills and waterways, especially at sunrise and sunset. The Hague, known as the International City of Peace and Justice, is the seat of the Dutch government and royal family. Although Amsterdam is the capital, The Hague holds the International Court of Justice and other world-renowned legal institutions. The city is also home to one of the Dutch royal family's palaces, the Noordeende Palace, and the famous Mauritius Museum, home to Vermeer's girl with a pearl earring. Our next stop is Rotterdam, the largest port city in Europe, is a striking contrast to traditional Dutch cities. Known for its bold, modern architecture. Rotterdam's skyline includes the iconic cube houses, Erasmus Bridge, and the Markthal, an impressive indoor food market with vibrant artwork covering its arched ceiling. Despite being heavily bombed in World War II, the city rebuilt itself with a focus on innovative design, making it one of the most modern cities in the Netherlands. For a unique view, head up the Euromast Tower, where you'll see breathtaking panoramas of the city and port. If you're a fan of exquisite pottery, Delft is your destination. Known worldwide for its iconic blue and white ceramics, Delftware dates back to the 17th century. Here, you can explore the Royal Delft experience and learn the intricate process behind this famous pottery style. Delft is also the hometown of painter Johannes Vermeer, who immortalized the Dutch Golden Age in works like Girl with a Pearl Earring. Delft's old world charm is reflected in its canals, historic buildings, and lively market square, making it a wonderful city to explore on foot or by bike. Lastly, let's visit Utrecht. One of the oldest cities in the Netherlands. Its unique canals feature wharf cellars that have been transformed into cozy cafes and shops right at water level. At the heart of Utrecht is the Dom Tower, the tallest church tower in the Netherlands. Climbing to the top rewards you with panoramic views of the city's medieval rooftops. With its rich history and university town vibe, Utrecht has a youthful energy and plenty of cultural activities, from music festivals to open-air art installations. And there you have it, our journey through the Netherlands. From its vibrant cities to its historic villages, from endless tulip fields to fascinating windmills. This country may be small, but it's packed with beauty, history, and stories that will leave you in surprise. So, tell us, if you could visit any one of these places, where would you go first? With that said, thanks for watching, and let us know in the comments which country you'd like to visit next.